Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I really hope everybody's doing okay right now given the current circumstances and what's going on in the world. It's all very like, anxiety inducing. But I did want to make a kind of fun and simple almost like creative colored pencil tutorial because I know that a lot of people might be getting back into sketching or drawing or coloring or working on hobbies that they might have not really had as much time for before. I have this cute little black sketchbook my friend Kate got for me and I actually already did a couple of little sketches in it. There are these sort of weird looking flowers with floating leaves around them and then over here I did like a celestial like planet. I thought it would be fun to bring some color into this sketchbook and do a galaxy. So I'm going to be using pinks and purples. It's a little bit of blue, um, some white, my white gel pen. I actually did swatch these out in the back. Well, not like a proper <laughs> swatch or anything like that, but I just sort of tested them out and I think that these colors look so intense and gorgeous against this black background here. I also um, used my gel pen and the white pencil to do some stars for practice. I started off with my light blue violet pencil and just went in and um, created some general shapes of where the clouds and nebulas were going to be and I kind of just colored lightly, um, I want to say light or medium pressure in circular motion so they don't get any lines in my end result. The shapes are really kind of strange looking and almost smoke like but I just went with it and followed the reference photo and then I went in with my darker blue violet or purple color and kind of just added some depth to some of those areas because there's a lot of depth and there are some areas that are super super bright and other areas that aren't. Then I went in with pink and filled in some of that negative space because a lot of the colors are blended together. So you can see the way that I'm blending the pink and the violet and the blue violet together. It's almost, it's not seamlessly blended. You can see where one color ends and the other color starts. There was this one area in the middle that was super super bright so I went in with my white pencil and tried to blend that together but I tried to also make sure that when I was blending colors together I was going from a darker pink for example to a lighter pink and then transitioning into the light blue and then the dark blue from there. I didn't want it to be too random and like harsh colors next to each other so I was still trying to get a little bit of a gradient going in some areas. And it is probably best to use black paper, it just makes things easier because you can just focus on drawing all the nebulas and the clouds and everything, you don't have to worry about the background at all. So I really recommend black paper, the colors just really really stand out. As you can see, like these colors look absolutely gorgeous against my paper. So again, I'm building up these clouds going kind of color by color and building up my layers and just kind of making sure that they all blend together at a certain point. So I did leave negative space at the beginning when I was only using my blue colors and then I filled in most of it with my pink colors and my violet color and my white color later. I'm so obsessed with these colors, I want to do more like galaxy drawings or something like that. can't really think of anything else that would use all these colors, but they're so pretty. There's some pastels and then some deeper uh, versions of the colors, but they're so absolutely gorgeous and that's one of the reasons I wanted to, to do a galaxy because Galaxy has some colors that I normally probably wouldn't use very often so used to doing like portraits and things like that and using all my neutrals and um, Normal like brown tones and green tones and whatever. Okay, so anyway back to what I was doing I started adding some of the violet the blue violet at the top of the page a little bit even though the main focus is supposed to be this middle clump of nebulas, I did kind of add a few um, different ones towards the top and the bottom of the page just so that it was a little bit more realistic. And of course the middle one is the brightest one as you can see the big white cloud in the middle which is probably one of my favorite parts. There's another white cloud, a smaller one next to it and I wanted to make that look really really bright and intense as well because that is how it was in the reference photo. So as you can see it is a lot of like smoke like shapes with negative space that I then go and fill in with different colors and I do have like transitions from the lighter blue to the darker blue as I said or the lighter pink to the darker pink which I think looks kind of cool to have that um, general outline and I guess that's kind of the way that the nebulas looked too which is actually really cool that they kind of have these color patterns. It took me a long while to get that nebula on the left hand side in the middle of the page 
Um, and then it was a little bit faster when I moved towards the right hand side because there was less to color in so I did spend a good amount of time working on the left hand side. I think you do have to be kind of patient because it really I think took me maybe a couple hours maybe two hours to do this entire thing and blend it all together and make it look nice so you do have to be a little bit patient but I think that since it's such a simple thing and it's kind of just something that's fun to color. I didn't really mind that it was taking me a while to finish this. Because I'm working on black paper, the light colors really stand out and look bright. So when I use my white pencil, it just really looks very bright. And even my pink and my light blue colors stand out and they just pop off the page, which is exactly what I kind of wanted this to look like. So that is why I recommend using black paper. It's probably gonna make your drawing pop out a lot more. For this bottom part, I added some highlights and then a few shadows for a few darker areas um, and I wanted it to still look realistic but I wanted the main focus to be the middle of the page and I think I was able to get that effect as I wanted. I also um, used some of my violet or my darker colors towards the outline of the nebula and the lighter colors are often in the middle and it just helps it fade more seamlessly into the black background I think. Okay, so now for the stars, and I have to mention that normally when I do stars, I like to just splatter paint, like white gouache, and get a really cool splatter effect, but since I was sticking with a colored pencil theme, I thought that I would just go in with a white pencil and then a gel pen also for the brighter stars. And I think that you still get a better effect when you're splattering paint, but I know that not everybody is wanting to do mixed media or they don't have the white paint, so I did want to try it just with pencils and a white gel pen, and I think that the stars still came out looking pretty cool. Although the splatter effect um, helps you to get stars that look like there are some in the distance and then some that are kind of um, brighter and closer because you get some smaller splatters and then some bigger ones. They look more natural definitely when you use paint splatters, so I think I'll use that in the future even if I am doing my galaxy in colored pencil. There were a lot of stars in my reference photo, so that's why it kind of looks like I overdid the stars, but there really were a lot. So it did take me a little bit of time to get all these stars in. And that was how I did a colored pencil galaxy, guys. So you get a different effect than if you were to use watercolor, of course, or any other medium. But I still think that this is still a medium you can use for a galaxy drawing if you want to. I think that it does come out really cool and the colors come out super, super, super vibrant, which I absolutely love. I just got really excited using this black sketchbook again since I've used it in a previous video before. And just outer space sketches. I think I'm just really into outer space sketches right now. So let me know if you do like this type of um, drawing or tutorial. If you want me to do anything similar in the future, I definitely can. Or if you want me to do a watercolor version of a galaxy tutorial as well. But anyway, that's about all that I have for today's video. This is just a short little fun colored pencil tutorial different from what I usually put out. So I would love if you would give any feedback. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the video, the tutorial, or just the drawing itself if you want to. And if you do want to see me um, drawing that planet that I showed you in my sketchbook, before I do have a video where I um, created that drawing with white charcoal, and I've never really used white charcoal on black paper before, so I created a whole video about it. So definitely check that out if you liked that drawing as well. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everyone's taking care of themselves in this really strange and scary time, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!